Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome back to Tuesday Reviews, and today first Tuesday Reviews, we have the Loyal Subjects Optimus Prime Blind Box figure. Now, I reviewed the Slag figure, but it wasn't a blind box, it was still in the box. Um, but anyway, first we'll take a look at, um, the box here. We have a nice picture of, uh, Optimus Prime right there in his, uh, Loyal Subjects form. The Transformers above him. And on the other side, we have the figures you can get this line. Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, Jazz, and Grimlock. Uh, Grimlock was the one who I uh, was specifically looking for. But instead, I got Optimus and Jazz, unfortunately. Maybe one day I'll find Grimlock, but that's right. It's the point. On the other side, we have the Decepticons, Megatron, Soundwave, Thundercracker, and Starscream. On the back, we just have a bunch of information. 1 out of 24, 1 out of 96, and 1 out one out of 48. Just a bunch of information on the bottom. Just more designs from the G1 box. And the Decepticon logo right there. And the Autobot logo right there. Alright, that's enough of the box. Let's take a look at the figure. Um, The paint on this figure is really nice. I mean, if I go close up, I can't really see any paint blemishes on this figure so that kind of pleases me um he comes with his gun like um i think all of them come with weapons jazz came with uh sort of the same gun again sorry if i uh do a bad job of uh focusing on the figure it's just just kind of hard for me to concentrate on the figure and like uh concentrate on a you know the recording but anyway um articulation the head can move by that much the arms can go full through 360 the arms can twist very tight and again so can the other arm the gun can um if you count that as articulation, even though it's pretty stupid, if you count that as articulation, the gun rotates. Um, and the body goes in full 360. So again, articulation is pretty decent on this figure. Um, the paint is really nice. The detailing is really nice, especially on the head. Underneath, we have the Transformers and the Loyal Subjects. And all in all, this is just a good figure to have. And if you find these blind boxes, I got mine at uh, at um, Barnes & Noble. If you can find these guys there and you want Optimus, I'd say go for it and I wish you luck. Um, like, there's also a Series 2. Um, I don't remember exactly who was in that line, but I know that Slag, Shockwave, one of the Insecticons, and a few others are in that line. I don't know everyone else in that line, but that series too, you can go for that as well. And, uh, yeah, if you want to know how big this guy is, here he is next to the 30th Anniversary Ultra Magnus figure. Again, we've already reviewed this on the channel. And, uh, yeah. This guy is uh, pretty small compared to our Optimus right here. Um, and uh, yeah. Anyway, that is it for today. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Zach out.